welcome to Pickle module. So Pickles is a module that comes packaged with other modules by default in Python. And it allows us to save variables in a folder, whether they be lists, strings, data frames, classes, and much more. So what is pickling exactly? With pickle, saving objects is called pickling, and the opposite is called unpickling. This is also known as serializing and deserializing. Pickling reduces the size of a saved object into bytes. And as an analogy, think of a variable as equal to a Lego house, and the bytes equal to Lego bits used to make the Lego house. Pickling breaks the Lego house into Lego bits, and unpickling recreates the Lego house. Okay, so if I click on this link here, it just takes you to the official documentation for the Pickle module, which you can have a read of if you wish. All right, so what we're gonna do is import the pickle and numpy modules. And I also have a path variable here, which is C users Michael desktop pickle folder, which at the moment is currently empty, as you can see here. Okay, so what we're going to do is create four variables. And I'm just going to run this to ensure that I have those in the Jupyter notebook. So we'll have, let's say, num equals mp dots, should be fine, array. We have 10, 20, 30, 40. And then we'll have, let's say, keys equals a list of x, y, and z. And then we'll have, let's say, d equals a dictionary of a num times 2, b num times 3, and lastly, c num times 4. And then lastly, we'll have our tuple. So it's going to be tuple list range do 0, 1, 10 to 10, so a step size. Okay, so now we have our four variables here, which are a numpy array, a list, a dictionary, and a tuple. So before we go about saving our variables, what I want to show you is the actual byte code. So if I do pickle dots dumps, and then we have, let's say, num in here, you can see what looks like rather gibberish code. And actually, it's the byte code for the numpy array. And if we want to reconvert this back into our NumPy array, what we need to do is, let's say I have a BT, and then we do pickle dots, it's gonna be loads, and then BT. And as you can see, it's recreated our NumPy array from 10 to 40 here. Now, just a note of caution when using the pickle.dumps method, and that is, if you use this, don't use it for anything like a data frame. If you use it for a variable like this, a very small one, that's fine. But if you use it for a data frame, you're gonna have a very large output. So it's not gonna be something like this, it's gonna be significantly larger and it will actually slow down and possibly freeze up your computer. So use the dumps method with caution. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go about saving our data. So with open path plus Let's just call this pick me zero dot pickle. And then we'll have, let's say, wb for writing as w, but it doesn't have to be w, it can be anything, it could be f or it could be cake, etc. I just think w is appropriate. And then we'll have, let's say, pickle dots dump. And note it's just dump, not dumps. And then we're going to have the name of a variable. So it's going to be num, and then we'll do w. Run that, double click here, and you can see now the file has been saved. So if I double click here, what you're gonna get is what looks like gibberish, and essentially unreadable, but that's not really an issue. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we are going to bring this back into Jupyter Notebook. So I have the opposite now. So with open path plus pick me zero dot pickle. This is gonna be RB, which you probably guessed, as R, and then we'll do pickle dot load, and it's going to be R, and then we have to assign a new variable. So this is going to be, let's say, we'll do num R, run like that, and if I do num R, you can see now that I have the numpy array again. 
All right, so what if we wanted to save more than just one variable at the same time? Well, we can use a for loop, which you probably guessed. So what I'm gonna do is just highlight all of this and then just hit the tab button to shift it. And then I'm going to have a for loop here. So we'll do for i in range len, I'm gonna have data, this is a new variable we're gonna create. And essentially it's a list. So data equals, say we have num, keys, d, and t. Run that. So if I do data, you get somewhat of a large output here. Okay. So what we need to do now is have this zero moved and the braces instead. I'm going to format. So dot formats i. And then what we need to do is data index by i. Okay, so I'm going to run that. And now if we check our folder, you can see that we have four files here for each of our variables. Okay, great. So now we of course want to do the opposite, which is that we want to have them back inside of our Jupyter Notebook. So what we need to do here, like before, I'm going to hit the tab button, and then I'm going to have a for loop. So for i in range, len data, and I'm going to change this to a braces dot format i, and that should almost be good to go. But what I'm also going to do is have an empty list. So it's going to be unpickled equals empty list. This is then going to be res. And I'm going to then have unpickled.append res. Okay, then I do unpickled. On that, and as you can see, I have the original list with the nested variables in here. All right, so that pretty much concludes my lecture on using pickle module. Hope that's been insightful. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the Q&A. Thanks.